three, what are the strengths and weaknesses of the following tests? Strengths, weaknesses, Bonferroni. It's good at controlling type one error rate, but it's very conservative and gives lots of type two errors. Two keys, better balance of type one and type two errors. The sample size must be equal-ish. Dunnets, enables one tail t-tests. You can only compare to the control group. Which test should you use if the size of the groups are slightly different? Gabriel's! What test should you use if the group sizes are very different? Hochberg's GT2. What test should you use if there is doubt about the equality of variance assumption? Games Hal. When should a planned contrast be performed? When there is a specific hypothesis or hypotheses to be tested. Which are more powerful? Planned contrast or post hoc tests? Planned contrasts. If I have four categories, how many contrasts do I set up? What's the rule? Three? because it's one less than the number of categories. What's the difference between dummy variables being entered and variables being used for an orthogonal contrast? They're entered as weights. If a group is not involved in a comparison, what weight does it get? Zero. What must the sum of the weights in a contrast equal? Zero. The contrasts are independent and don't need to be corrected for multiple comparisons to control type one error rate accurate as contrasts. What does non-orthogonal mean? Not totally independent, there is shared variability. For example, group one is used in more than one test. What does a polynomial test test for? Trends in the data. Specific examples? Linear trend? Quartic trend? What tests do they follow in which they make sense when there is logical order to the group? For example, normal, overweight, obese. Anovers. What is the maximum number of anovers before it becomes a nightmare to interpret? Three. Why, if you are comparing three factors on an interaction plot, do you need two graphs? Otherwise you've got to like draw in 3D and that's not fun. What do overlapping lines on an interaction plot mean? That there is no significant main effects of the difference between the two lines, for example sex. If you have an interaction plot with males going up and females going down, why is this of interest? Because if you average them, it will show that there is no effect and that's not really being true to the data. When are standard contrasts and post hoc tests the most useful to investigate the main effect? When there is or there is not interaction? When there is no interaction? What, if there is one, is the test for a non-parametric equivalent of a factorial ANOVA? There isn't one, but you can break it down into simpler comparisons and use a critical was. Part 4. What test analyzes the difference between levels of one variable and every level of another variable? Simple effects analysis. Why is simple effects analysis a little bit weird? You have to go under the bonnet of SPSS to make it work. Why should Bonferroni not be used as a multiple comparison correction to control the overall type 1 error rate? It's too conservative and there's too many real effects missed. Instead of the uncorrected least significant difference LSD, what test should you use? SIDAC. Why is simple effects analysis sometimes a little bit dodge? It doesn't take into account the interaction between variables. Why is simple effects analysis good on the whole? It's a good guide to see what is causing the significant interaction where in the data. What test should you use if the data is not independent? Repeated measures and over. What test should you use if you can't use a single factor repeated measures and over? Friedman's. Do you need equality of variance to run an unpaired t-test? Yes. What kind of t-test do you want equality of variance, normality, between the groups? Paired t-test. What looks at the equality of differences in the different groups? Sphericity. What does SPSS use to test for sphericity? Mauchi's or Mauchi's test? If Mauchi's test turns out to be significant, p equals less than 0.05, can sphericity be assumed? Yes or no? No. If sphericity cannot be assumed, what correction can you use in SPSS? Greenhouse geyser. What does greenhouse geyser do and how does it work? It adjusts the degrees of freedom, changing the significance level associated with the F statistic, therefore the significance will change. What happens to post hoc tests, multiple comparison tests, when using repeated measures ANOVA if there is violation of sphericity? Almost all perform very badly and you get wrong results. In this situation, what should you do? Why? Use Bonferroni because it's conservative. What do you do if you have more than one repeated measures factor? 
factorial, repeated measures, and over. What test should you use with simple effects? Bonferroni. If the parametric assumptions such as the normality of variance are in question, what non-parametric equivalent of a single factor, repeated measures, ANOVA can you use? Friedman's test. What two kinds of ANOVA have no non-parametric equivalent? Repeated measures, ANOVA, mixed model, ANOVA. What do you do if you have one or more factors that are independent and one or more factors that are repeated? Use a mixed model, ANOVA. Which test can you use if there are independent factors in the mixed model? SIDAC. Why would you not fit a straight line to curved data? It's misleading and it doesn't capture the variability of the data very well, with low predictive power. What can you do with curved data then? You can transform it, you can log it, cube it, square it, etc. What is it better to do and why? It's better to do a non-linear regression because it takes the residuals at each data point and fits a model at each of the data points. What happens to the fit of a polynomial regression as the number of polynomial terms increases? The fit will increase. What is a common problem of this? Risks overfitting the data as the line is influenced by every random fluctuation. What do you need to check when you're doing a nonlinear regression and why? You need to check different starting parameters to ensure that the computer has found the global minimum and not just the local minimum. One of the assumptions, the same as linear regression for nonlinear regression. 1. Independence of data points. 2. No significant variability in the predictor. 3. Normal distribution of residuals. 4. Homiscedasticity, equality of variance. 5. Value of x is not used to compute y. What two things should you check at the parameters? Confidence interval is small and that the standard errors are small. What should you compare two models for? Difference in the sum of squares of the residuals of the models, the amount of unexplained variability left by the new model compared to the existing model. What is a resampling test and what does it do? It's a non-parametric test that makes no assumptions about the distribution of data other than that the sample is representative of the whole population. What does a permutation test test for? It tests for the difference between the means or medians. What procedure allows more general and robust sampling, allowing confidence intervals to be robustly derived without any assumptions regarding population distribution? Bootstrapping. Part 5. What does the sample need to be for the frequency of the bootstrap samples to accurately reflect the sampling distribution of the population, representative of the whole population? What important rules apply to contingency tables? At least 80% of E, expected frequency, needs to be greater than or equal to 5. If the data is fulfilling the 80% being greater than or equal to 5 rule and is ordered, what test can be used to look for trend? Chi-squared test. What can you do if the criteria of 80% being greater than or equal to 5 for the chi-squared test is not met? Combine two or more rows or columns of the contingency table if it makes scientific sense, or use a Fisher's exact test. What test do you use if something goes into more than one category? McNamara's test. How many replicates do we need for a sample size? How do we know? Look at similar earlier experiments. Perform a pilot study. Conduct a formal power analysis. What is power and its formula? probability that you will be able to detect a difference if there really is one there to detect. Power equals 1 minus type 2 error rate. For example, power of 80% equals type 2 error rate of 20%. What is power increased by and decreased by? Effect size and sample size? Random variation. We made it! Very many congratulations for making it through this video. I hope I haven't been too annoying. I hope this has been useful. Please let me know in the comments.